I got 99 problems, but a squirrel ain't one. Hey, it's Jimmy Lee Lar, the Sock Snob, and I am trying out some new products today because I'm having a squirrel problem. They are everywhere. So the lady next door, very nice lady, Gloria, feeds the squirrels year round. She lives up there and uh, she feeds the squirrels year round peanuts. So they get the peanuts from her place and then they bring them over into all of my garden beds, all these mulch beds all throughout here. So I am going to attempt to get rid of them. We'll see what we can do. Uh, so I'm trying out Squirrel Stopper. So it has a, a very peppery, soapy smell to it is what I kind of got from it when I gave it a sniff. And we'll just see, I'm gonna put it around. It's supposed to be weatherproof as well. So I'm gonna put it, they dig up my pots. Um, and I, I have a lot of pots out uh, and you know, I just wanna see if I can sort of curb what they're doing. So we'll see if it works. So walk with me as I spray down some things. So I'm gonna try and hit all the areas that I know that they frequent. And I mean, these little bastards are relentless. So I'm hitting uh, the uh, flower containers, the garden statues and all of that. The mulch, they dig up uh, all of, anywhere where I have new plants, they dig them up. I have planted and replanted uh, the same plants over and over and over. They dig up my uh, containers, so I'm just making sure that I spray those down really well. All throughout this bed, anywhere where there's mulch, they, uh, you know, get all over it. So I'm trying to avoid uh, spraying any of the leaves, so, uh, because it could burn the leaves. This is a uh, Hakanakoa grass right here, and I don't want to get any on the leaves. Uh, all along here, I have uh, roses planted, but I also have some elephant ear bulbs uh, down in here as well. So uh, they've been digging those up. So I just want to make sure that those are protected. So again, just continuing to spray all around the shrubs and um, uh, again, hitting all of those flower pots that they keep digging. Now, if you take a look at this pot, you can see uh, where <laughs> one has been digging in there as well. So, um, but what they do is they get the peanuts from Gloria's yard and then they bring them over to my yard to bury them. And then another one comes along and digs up that one or, um, you know, they're just foraging. Um, you know, the whole time I'm working in the yard, I'm finding peanuts in in the mulch when, once I, you know, find a plant that I have to rebury. So, uh, you know, it, it's just an ongoing issue. So that's why I'm doing this. Uh, this uh, antique uh, bird cage that I planted, I'm just going to spray the base down really well with hopes that, you know, it'll stick to it for a while, just like with the uh, flower pots. It says this stuff is good for 30 days, but I'm going to do it about once a week or more. So I'm going to hit not only the trunk of this tree, but uh, the branches here, the squirrels get up on my roof. And at one point I had issues with them in my walls. So um, hopefully that will keep them away. And here I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, this uh, patio garden bed once again, uh, making sure I get all the pots ar around the patio as well. Hello, how are you? Good. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Had to pause for one of my neighbors who was speaking. Um, not Gloria who feeds the squirrels. This is another uh, neighbor who rides around on a little scooter every Saturday and Sunday. She's so cute. So this is the last area I'm gonna do, and then I'll show you some of the results. Uh, this bed has uh, some climbing roses, a uh, couple spirea and uh, wajela in here. This is my front garden bed, and they get all in here, as you can imagine. So take a look at this. 
So here's the squirrel. He wants to come over, but he heads back over to Gloria's house. So I guess this stuff is working because here's another one headed away. All right. Hope you like this video. Like and subscribe.